The Great Search is brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey. Every single legal idea to use their powers for good to help you find things on the DigiKey site. And that's happening a lot because people are starting to notice there's no chips. That's so, right. We have a chip shortage going on. So here's two tweets. So here's your tweets from some synth folks who are talking about how there are shortages of chips. And it's true. The Samd21, it, there's, there's delays on it. But also I noticed two people were... Chatting about how the TL074 was not available, and I was like, "Wow, that's pretty amazing." Uh, the TL074 is a, it's a it's a classic chip, and um, it's used a lot by uh, synthesizer folks. And I was actually kind of wondering why. So I, I I checked in with Guest, who was the co-designer of uh, the Zoxox synthesizer that we worked on. And I said, "Like you you know op amps and synthesizers. What what's so great about the TL?" 074, and uh, I do want to I want to say it because it's actually kind of neat, and it will also help us in the great search what, what we're going to look on. Uh, so guest says um, the 074 is pretty much the Toyota Corolla of op amps. It's not the best at anything in particular, but pretty good at everything. It's the second cheapest op amp out there. Comes in dip and SOIC. It has relatively low current consumption, low distortion, and reasonable bandwidth and slew rate. The noise is okayish low, but the thing that really makes it all out performer is the low bias current, JFET inputs. JFET inputs. Uh, it's down in the Pico amp range, which means you can use it for uh, sample and holds or VCOs, VCFs. They require a range of currents down to the nano amperes. A lot of people use the LM358 because it is the cheapest op amp, but it has high bias current. The L74 can also handle high voltage rails, which helps with the signal noise ratio. It was designed for audio use and was the first one of the first real mass market op amps back in the late 70s, if I recall correctly. The 741 was the first. Still, people use the 741, a very popular op amp. And this was meant as an improvement over that. The 074 and the 084 uh, were made at the same time, and the 074s were selected for lower, lower noise, better distortion, and lower offset voltage. And then marketed at the audio market, the 084 was sold to everyone else. So um, this is a good hint. Again, now you know there's, op amps are very, very peculiar uh you know once you find the specs for one it, it's hard to say like this is an absolute alternative right there's no there's it's not easy to say like this is a other than the exact part number each one has slightly different specifications and there's so many specifications so i will say that i don't guarantee that this is going to be a drop-in replacement for the tl074 but for synthesizer uses it sounds like um the jfet inputs in the low bias uh input current and uh pretty good slew rate and a uh, pretty good um, voltage range. So maybe more than five volts, like they, you know, plus or minus 12 volts. It's pretty common for uh, many synthesizers. So let's go to DigiKey and let's actually look up the TL074. Uh, I will say the TL074 is, is I, there are some in stock, like you're not totally out of luck if you want some. Um, it may not be available in every, you know, particular flavor and package size, but there are some in stock. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. You can get some. But uh, let's look at some of those specifications that Guest mentioned. So the slew rate is 13 volts per microsecond, uh, 3 megahertz gain band with the product. Um, input bias, current 64 pico amperes, input offset 3 millivolts. Uh, about a milliamp and a half per channel of supply, and then, yeah, plus or minus 5 volts, uh, or 10 volts to 30 volts. That is something interesting, so you do need to have a fairly high voltage, it looks like. You can't really, looks like there might be versions, like, here. The TL074HIDR, uh, there are some that can run as low as 4.5 volts single supply, but it looks like 10 volts is pretty common. Um, so that said, let's take a look at similar... Op amps has got the JFET input. That's what kind of defines the the low uh, input bias. Let's look for another quad low input bias op amp that could be an alternative to the TL074. Um, so let's go back to <clears throat> buffer amps and uh, let's look for active and let's look for in stock because we're 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 on a we're not specking a, a new board here. What we're doing is trying to find an alternative to a part that we, we know and love. On a related note, yeah. so I guess for whatever reason, like 100 plus people showed up in Twitch. Okay, um, hi. 
And so they thought it wasn't live, and now they're being um, taught how to search and use electronics. Yes. I don't think that was their intention. Who I, doesn't love synthesizers? I, I think this is some, some type of raid or something. But you're just gonna okay. learn. You're just gonna learn stuff. And you're gonna learn about <laughs> mechanical keyboards and how to specify op amps for your own synthesizer. Right, so, modular part. You know, statistically, three percent of them make synthesizers yeah, or do music. So, you wonder, like, how is how are those? Come back every Sunday and learn some electronics, folks. Okay. Welcome. All right. back. Okay, there's no, uh, we're not doing any hot tubs here, though. Okay, so uh, we want a, a quad op amp, because we're going to want 074, that 4 stands for quad. 072 is dual, but we want quad. So let's let's apply. Okay, um, next up, I don't really care about the current per channel, uh, but again, I do care about the input bias. In this case, I'm going to use this uh, min-max box. Well, hold on. Eh. We're gonna use the min max box. There's actually a little bit of different styling, by the way. I think they updated the search styling, the CSS updated. So let's look the remember the 074 was 65 pico amperes. Let's let's put in like, I don't know, like 80, right? Up to from zero to 80 uh, pico amps. Um okay, great. So we've got a whole bunch of those, and let's look at uh slew rate. So we want a pretty good slew rate, and some of these are like pretty slow, like you know, less than a volt per microsecond. I think what was the 075? It was like 13 or something. Let's um, let's find something that's at least five. Oh, uh, five volts per millisecond. We want per microsecond. So let's do five volts or greater per microsecond. And watch out, because it looks like the milliseconds are mixed in with the microseconds. Okay, great. So looking good. Got about 400 options. Okay. Um, next, let's look at the. Uh, we want surface mount, so let's let's pick that, and that'll cut us down to 300 pieces. Okay, so what else do we want to do? So the input offset. Let me look again at what the input offset was for the TL-070, whoops, 73. One thing that's nice, by the way, about op amps is that op amps do have, almost all op amps have the exact same pinout, like thankfully. So if you have a quad op amp that's in a 14 TSOP, it's going to be the same as every other op amp in a 14 TSOP. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, it, it's like, it's like what we talked about in some previous um, tutorials about you know, oh, this reset actuator uses like a slightly different pinout depending on the package. It, it doesn't, that doesn't apply here. Okay, so the TL74, uh, so we're looking at the slew rate, 13 volts per microsecond. Gain bed with project of 3 megahertz is really good. Input offset about 3 millivolts. So let's do 3 millivolts or less. This is in microvolts. So it looks like, you know, there's, there's actually like the input offset isn't too bad. There's only like one that's like half a volt. Ridiculous. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at what's available. So one thing about the TL074 is, of course, it's really cheap. So let's let's sort by price. Uh, let's put in price at 1,000. And sort by price. Okay. So not surprisingly, um, the TL-084 comes up first. So, you know, like Guest mentioned, if you're looking for a quick replacement for the 074, the 084 is going to be really, really, really close. It's a little bit noisier, got a little bit more distortion, but it's, it's really close. So comparing, you know, this is 084 and 074, um, if we compare them, you know, the input bias is a little bit uh, lower on this 084. The voltage offset's the same. Um, the voltage supply is the same, you know, you can look in detail in the specs, but it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So if we, well, let's say we're like, okay, you can't get 084s or 074s, like we're completely whatever. So the first chip that's not from that family, another thing that's interesting is you notice both TI and ST both make uh, TL 0708Xs. So, you, you know, you do have two su uh, source suppliers, which is really nice. Um, but the next non-TL whatever series that's available is the um, LF347, which was like not available in TSOP, but had a pretty good specs. It has a slightly better slew rate. 
Um, it has a, a much better input bias, 20 pico amperes. Uh, it's got 40 milliamps output per channel, which is kind of nice. Uh, a little bit better gain width, uh, gain bandwidth product. So that basically means like, you know, as you increase your gain, the amount of bandwidth, the frequencies you can pass are reduced. If you're dealing with audio, you're probably not dealing with more than like 44 kilohertz or whatever. Um, so keep that in mind, depending on how much gain you want, if you're doing microphones or whatever. Um, it looks like the supply can be plus or minus 22 volts. Let's look in detail, maybe at the data sheet to look at the supply. Um, all right, so high slew rate, JFET input. Again, it's got that standard quad package. Pretty simple design here. Let's look at if it has a minimum power supply. You gotta like hunt for it. Where's the. Maybe they don't have it in this data sheet. Oh, that's kind of weird. Plus or minus 12 volts. Maybe output voltage swing. I mean, I guess you could try running it at like plus or minus six volts. I don't think you need to. The absolute value is 18. They don't seem to really have the uh, VCC here. Probably like six volts or so. It's probably the same as the, the 084. Okay, cool. So um, your options are basically find an 074 that might have not the exact same specs you want, but is close enough because there's a lot of them in different families. Um, if you don't mind respinning your boards, respin the board to use SOIC if that's available instead of SOP. And then, you know, there are a couple other chips that are in a similar price range, like the LF347. If we, you know, if we go much farther in, in the pricing, there are more chips, but they start getting more expensive. Like, you know, you're, you're basically paying like 40 cents per chip instead of 20 cents. Um, there's like the BU784 from Rome. So there's a couple options. So I think, you know, you're not totally out of luck, um, but, you know, like Guess said, you're going to have trouble finding something that's as cheap and as all around good. So you might have to give up one thing, whether it's price or, you know, noise or distortion or slew or input bias or whatever, but it's probably going to be price because like, like they mentioned, it is like one of the cheapest op amps you can get. Still, there's a lot of op options available. So if you're making synthesizers, uh, do not despair. Uh, we, there are options available for you. Um, other 074s, 084s, or the LF347. Thank you, Richard. Yes. Where in the world is that part I need?